Hey guys, Susie here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And today I'm doing a DIY video for you guys. Today we are making a DIY lip scrub at home. Now I'm a really big fan of Lush products and one of my favorite products that they have at Lush is their lip scrubs. They are definitely a lifesaver, especially in the winter time because my lips are getting so chapped. And right now I think everybody that's dealing with cold weather is dealing with chapped lips. And one of the best ways to get rid of chapped lips is to use a lip scrub. And this one is a homemade all natural lip scrub that you can use on a daily basis even if you wanted to. It's still very gentle. Um, it's not gonna like hurt your lips. It's not gonna make them like raw or anything like that and it's still very good for sensitive skin plus you can kind of customize it to kind of make it your own so you can add your own different flavor extract for any flavor that you would like you can add food coloring to make it any color you would like you can even kind of choose what kind of sugar you want to use So to make this we're going to need our sugar first off and I'm using a pure cane sugar that I got from Dollar Tree, it works really well. But if you like you can use brown sugar or any other sugar that has kind of a coarse um, rough grain to it, a little thicker grain. And you're also going to need some kind of oil so you can use olive oil like I'm using. You can use almond oil, coconut oil whatever kind of oil you would like. This is what's going to moisturize our lips. And you can also use whatever flavor extract you like. So I'm using peppermint because I want it to have a minty taste, but you can add cinnamon or vanilla or whatever extract flavor that you would like. And you're also going to need a spoon. I'm using a teaspoon because I have a small container, but if you have a bigger container, you can use a tablespoon. And then you're also gonna need a container, and I'm just using this really small container that was from an e.l.f. Um, little lip tint that I got at Dollar Tree, um, but any little container like this will work just well. So to start off, we're going to take our container and open it on up, and we're going to put our sugar into the container first. So I've got my pure cane sugar here, and then you can just use whatever sugar that you are using for your recipe. And if you have a bigger container, I would suggest using a tablespoon of sugar, but I have a small container and only about a teaspoon fit in here, so I'm using a teaspoon of the pure cane sugar. So now that I've got all my sugar in there, I'm going to add my oil and I'm using this extra virgin olive oil, but as I said, you can use any kind of oil you like. And I'm just going to measure out a half teaspoon of olive oil. And I'm just going to add it into my sugar. Now we're going to add our extract and I'm taking my pure peppermint extract. As I said, you can use whatever kind of extract you like. And I'm just going to add about up to three drops of the peppermint extract. Kind of hard to measure out. Now I'm going to take a little stirry mechanism. So you can use a toothpick. I don't have a toothpick in my house, um, strangely enough. So I'm just using the end of this thermometer that I had and I just made sure I cleaned it off really well and just stir it all around and mix everything up in there and you should start noticing it start looking like a lip scrub. Once we have everything mixed up, I'm just taking my spoon and I'm just kind of patting it into the container to flatten it out a little bit so I can get my top on easier. And then just screw your top on and that's it. So your scrub is ready. I would suggest not keeping it longer than six months. I think it would get kind of gross. And I would suggest keeping it in the fridge just to prolong the life of it. 
So I'm just going to show you guys how to apply it, um, or you can tell whoever you're giving to how they can apply it. Um, just take a bit of it on your finger, slather it onto your lips, and just rub around and get all that dead skin off. And the sugar is edible, but I'm just going to take a nice rag and wipe it off. So after using that lip scrub, my lips feel super, super soft, wonderful. I went ahead and put on a little bit of my tart little um, lip chappy butter stuff that I got for my birthday. I love it. My lips feel really soft and really silky, and this stuff tasted awesome, even though I'm kind of weird about eating the lip scrub after I just like exfoliated my lips with it, but it does taste really good, so if you do want to go that route, you're more than welcome to. Of course, I showed you guys I prefer to just kind of wipe it off with a little bit of a wet rag or something like that, but yeah, so... That is how you make your own DIY lip scrub. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and definitely leave me some comments down below if you guys enjoyed it and you wanna see more of these or if there is a DIY that you would like to see. Um, I wanna do some more face masks, some like facial toners and different things. So just let me know if there's a certain thing you guys are interested in. I can also show you guys how to make your own fragrances. I have made that before. I have made my husband some DIY fragrances so just leave me a comment down below and I will try to do it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you in my next one subscribe for more videos see you guys later bye guys